On a previous habitat tip, we talked about a simple and effective technique to help you control and eliminate invasive trees in your projects. And in that, we use something called a PVC kill stick. On today's habitat tip, we're gonna help guide you on how to build one of these yourself for about a $23 investment. And in the end, you'll be left with a tool that will help you manage your habitat projects. Well, folks, what I have in front of me here is $23.45 worth of PVC pipe supplies that I've obtained from my local hardware store. And today we're gonna to show you how to take that $23 investment and turn it into the, one of the most valuable habitat tools that you can have, and you'll get two of them. Step number one today is we're gonna take our 10 foot piece of one inch PVC pipe and we're gonna chop it up into four pieces that will be used to build our two different kill sticks. Step number two, let's take our components that we just cut and we're gonna start assembling them to build our kill sticks. A little PVC cement. Boom. Step number three, we need to cut an opening in our cap for our sponge to be in here. You can do it a lot of ways, but I'm just gonna use this Dremel tool. Step four, I'm now gonna put my end cap on and insert my sponge. And now we'll get the sponge inserted into here. Well, folks, there we have it. A completed PVC kill stick. For about 12 bucks, I now have a tool that almost anybody can build it, almost anybody can use it, and this is one of the most cost-effective tools that I own to be able to control unwanted trees coming into our grassland ecosystem. That's a heck of a bargain. So we've now got a kill stick, but how do you go about using this thing? Well, take the cap off. We add the herbicide to the top, pour it in here. When we're adding it, make sure that our shutoff valve is in the closed position. When this is full, I put the cap back on. I then have herbicide in a reservoir from here to here. When we're ready to go out and apply this to a cut stump or basal bark to a tree, I open the shutoff valve and allow the herbicide to come down into here. Once this sponge is full and beginning to drip herbicide, I close the shutoff valve, keeping the rest of the reservoir in here, a little bit of herbicide in here, and then I go out and apply this sponge to the trees that I want to treat. Okay, we've built it. We know how to fill it. The next obvious question is, what do I put in here? Well, you want to check the species that you're trying to control and figure out the best solution for that. Personally, what I like to use in my situation is one part Remedy herbicide with three parts dyed diesel. Now, it's really important that you always read and follow your label instructions carefully, and then also make sure that you check with your state for any applicable laws. For a small investment, we now have a simple but highly effective tool to go into our pollinator habitat management toolbox. Controlling and eliminating invasive trees in our projects, that makes for great habitat.